Joseph says, can I use your contrarian approach method for training the discus for shot put? Uh, are there any changes you would recommend? Yeah, uh, we you know, we did it with the javelin, we did it with the shot put, did it with the high jump, did it every every event, uh, I, everything I coach is done that method. If you're a glider, uh, we add a couple exercises. One, well, obviously one we add is like the Braemar stone from the Highland Games. Uh, get the heaviest shot you can find or just a big rock and throw. And, and, and one of the things is standing throws, no reverse, throwing the rock. Um, the other station is, if for gliders, is we either put a sandbag on the back or a, a vest and they just do multiple glides. No throws, just the glide part. Glide, 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 glide. Um, but everything else, yeah, absolutely no, no change at all. Uh, it actually works very well for the shot put because one of the things you're, you're not going to be taking a ton of throws for distance doing some of the things we teach you. So you're not going to ingrain. One of the problems shot putters have is they get too much feedback. You know where the shot hit every time. So you might get yourself in this weird little personal contest of, say like you threw 40 feet. The next throw you try to 40 feet, 6 inches, and then you, you frustrate and, and you and essentially start to train to failure. But with this approach, uh, you won't. Uh, you'll, you'll be throwing against walls. You'll be doing drills. And when you go out to throw, uh, you're, you'll be technically ready to go. And uh, I also recommend you try the, what we call the Soviet drill in the book or range throwing. I would suggest almost doing that daily. Uh, for those you don't know, real quick, um, it's when you have the athlete warm up. You take six hard throws. You, you try, you know, you really try to go for it, and then you, on the you, whatever one the longest, you then bring it back a little bit. You know, in the shot put, uh, three or four feet, a meter, a meter and a half. That's all you really need to come back on. In the discus, uh, you can go back five meters, uh, about 18, 20 feet. Uh, in fact, it's kind of fun to play around with that. Um, some, and, and what we do with the discus, we put a hoop, uh, a hula hoop in the center or a garbage can. Um, so say I threw 180 feet, 55 meters. We put the disc, we put the garbage can at 50 meters, 165. And I might, what I'm trying to do is throw it into the garbage can. So it's still throwing, but I've changed the rules uh, a little bit. And it's fun sometimes after you do about 20, 25 throws, then just take, okay, I'm going to go for it. And just take one hard throw and just see what happens after all those range throws. Uh, sometimes, uh, for some athletes, it's the best throw of their life. Uh, other athletes uh, fail miserably when they try to torque it back up. Uh, it's a great drill. Um, uh, and over time, of course, what you want to do is, what we're trying to teach you to do is push that, put, push those easy throws up a little bit, okay? I hope that helps. Thank you.